Hello, welcome back to Game of Muscle videos and welcome back to It's I've Just Irrationally Purchased, something I don't really need but it'll make me happy for a short period of time, Friday. Now in order to help justify your self-purchased Christmas presents, I'm going to go through what I believe to be the cracking deals. Do bear in mind though that Game of Muscle videos is a simulator and VR channel. Hence, our deals are not going to be for My Little Pony box set. They're going to be for ridiculous game controllers and VR headsets. So, let's crack the whip and let's get going. Unbeatable deal number one. The Oculus Rift VR headset. Reduced to £350 for Black Friday. What a cracking price! Y you have to get into VR at that price. There's no excuses now. Um... VR and driving simulators. I mean, you've probably seen our previous videos. There's, there's thousands of them on the channel of just how good VR is when combined with flight and driving simulators. It's an unbelievable experience. In my opinion, as a VR fanatic, you easily get that £350 worth of value. Way more than you would if you spent 350 quid on a TV screen, for example, or a monitor for your driving simulators. Also worth remembering that with the oculus now you do get the touch controllers you do get two tracking cameras so you can actually play proper vr titles as well with that kit so you're, you're getting something that's it's kind of almost like having a games console as well as a monitor that you can use with your existing games a couple of things worth remembering though it's not all shiny perfect you might have to get a pci express usb 3.0 expansion card they work out between 15 and 25 pounds and i'd also say ideally if your intention is to play driving simulators and flight simulators though you can with many of them get away with a 9 uh, a 970 graphics card and that's sort of the bottom end for vr really you want to be on at least a 1070 and anything above that really <laughs> if you want to guarantee a nice sharp image and good performance at all times so um there you go. That's that's the Oculus Rift. I, I'm just saying I would I'd be in there. I'd be in there like a jiffy. I'd be spoiling myself. I'd be having my partner murder me, but well, they've already murdered me. So it's fine. Just go for it. You've got my permission. Time to try VR. Worst case, you could always send it back. You won't send it back if you do buy it, but you could send it back. I'm like the devil on your shoulder. Cracking fantastic bananas. Deal number two, and we're gonna get in there with the. Fanatec deals on the Fanatec website. Uh, partly because they're good deals, they've done good reductions. Secondly, because we've got a Fanatec FAP link, so if you use that when you buy stuff, I get money. So there's my motivation for putting that second. And thirdly, the Fanatec website's currently gone into complete meltdown. When I try and log onto the website now, I get some, uh, some their firewall coming up. <laughs> so there's lots of people trying to buy stuff from there. I would expect them to be out of stock maybe even have a stock delay which shows you that their deals are actually pretty spectacular or the prices were maybe too high to start with and people really want to buy their stuff but they just couldn't justify it so fanatec maybe after black friday maybe you should reduce the prices a bit because you've got a market there chomping at the bit for some nice load cell pedals nice wheels and uh, something that's maybe not as expensive as a direct drive wheel and obviously not as good as a direct drive wheel but also a bit better than what Thrustmaster offer at the top end, with, if I might say so, some nicer additional wheels and expansion available. Now, rather than rattling off specific deals that they do, most of the stuff on the website is on offer, so you've just got to check it out for yourself. Though, you will need to uh, probably refresh the page a few times and just be lucky to get on it. As I say, they're having a bit of a meltdown. I think uh, Mr. Thomas is running around throwing water on the server racks to cool them down and uh, their accounting department's having a breakdown as well. So um, what I would recommend, though, specifically, if I already had a steering wheel, which I presume most people looking at Fanatec stuff do already have a wheel, my thing to go for would be pedals with a load cell. And uh, my first load cell pedals were the Club Sport V2 pedals. You can't buy them anymore. I think I'm like the V3 upside down Jigger Moon Poker Me kit. But... Load cell pedals make a huge difference over potentiometer pedals. That's Load cell pedals work like bathroom scales that tell you you're obese, in that they measure weight rather than the distance of the pedal. So, you can have, in, in effect, you can stamp on the pedal, come off it, you can drive it more like you would a more racy pedal or something like a go-kart. Um, you don't need them, you don't have to have them, 
Bog standard pedals are perfectly fine. If you're happy with your bog standard kit, you've got your cheaper kit, just keep that. Don't feel like you have to upgrade. But personally, I found the V2s that I started with a lot more enjoyable than the G25 pedals I used. And the pedal upgrade, if you're more into competitive sim racing or you just wanted to upgrade something that has an actual tangible performance, an objective performance increase in sim racing, the pedals are the place to go to. And uh, I definitely, I highly recommend a load cell pedal. So that's what I would go for if I, if I didn't go for anything else on the website. But just have a, have a peruse if you can get in like Neo in the Matrix. If you can't get in, think of it as you've, it was a message from your, your bank manager in don't, don't spend your money on toys. Of course, link to the Fanatech website is in the video description. That's my Fanatech affiliate FAP link. And if you buy after clicking that, I get money. So you don't have to feel so guilty. You're supporting me while supporting your hobby. So it's, again, just uh, buy everything on the website. That's all I can say. Deal number three, it's a wheel deal. In the shape of the Logitech G29, G920 Logitech latest force feedback wheel. And uh, they're doing this wheel for £120, which I think is a bit of a, a cracking deal. Now, the G29, G920, there's two of them. One works with PlayStation 4, one works with the Xbox. Both of them work with PC. It's not the best wheel on the market, and many people would argue that the T300 is a better, better budget wheel. Generally, I would recommend the T300 over the G920 wheels. But at 120, I think it's between 120 and 130 pounds, um, it's an absolutely fantastic entry level steering wheel. For those of you that have been playing with a gamepad and wondering why you're terrible or just thinking, this seems like a really stupid way to drive cars, um, it's a good wheel to go for. And crucially, the G29, G920 has pretty decent pedals, much better pedals than the pedals that come with the T300. And not only do you get good pedals, you get three good pedals, a clutch, a brake, and accelerator, whereas the T300 is bundled with just an accelerator and a brake, unless you get the GT edition, which costs upwards of 250, 300 pounds. So I think the G29 is a really fantastic entry level wheel. I would highly recommend getting that. Um, there's not much more to say about it. I, I had the G25, which is a fairly similar to the G29, but it, it's what came out 10 years ago. It was the wheel I really... It was my second steering wheel, but it was the wheel that I spent five, six years getting moderately good at sim racing. I'm not amazing at sim racing, but, you know, it's what I learnt most of my skills on. It's what I learnt how to H-pattern shift with. It's what I learnt how to um, ap apply the brake and clutch and... You learn the basics it's absolutely fantastic to get a good result and there's no reason why with that wheel you couldn't enter competitions and, and get to an alien level if you were dedicated it, it's all the kit you need to get the most objective basic quality out of the sim racing if that makes sense so for 130 quid it's absolutely fantastic that marks my three best black friday deals that um that i'm aware of at least what i would say is check around online i'd double check on reddit to see if other deals get announced that might perk your interest but um you know you might probably you're probably better off just unplugging your modem and going for a walk and saving yourself some money that's probably the the good advice but we never do that do we links are in the video description amazon link fap link that's the fanatech link and uh lastly Remember, there is a 20% discount on the Thrustmaster store. If you just go on their store, you, you'll see what codes you need to type in. That's on all their products for today. And AccuForce as well have a bunch of deals on if you're looking at getting a AccuForce wheel. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the AccuForce for people in Europe due to the OSW price in Europe. But if you're an American and you want a direct drive wheel, the AccuForce might be a good route to go in. Especially if you want to use the SimVibe solution. Uh, because you get that included with the wheel so it can actually work out all right so um but there you go hopefully this has helped you hopefully um i've ruined your life a bit more that'd be fantastic don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like it until the next video in the next live stream which will be very soon thanks for watching and goodbye everybody